Well, you don't see that very often from Walsh, normally he's solid, doesn't miss many big numbers. Certainly the first two darts there were wavered. Easy five. Sixty. Well, again, Walsh has come to the ball without hitting the treble, so now... Big chances here for Van der Voort. Got to take advantage of your opponent's mistakes, and that's exactly what he's not done. Fifty-seven. Well, Adrian Lewis now three to up on Colin Osborne over on board one. But here on board two, Walsh and Port, dead level at three all. Sixteen. Walsh seemed to have lost his length on the treble twenty. Both players a very scrappy leg. No one wants to seem to win this leg, a normal important leg as well. Well, that's a better dart. Sometimes three darts in a leg like this wins your leg. 98. One hundred. Mark your requirement. One hundred and sixty. Well, Mark Walsh will know that Van der Voort may only have a dart at the bullseye, so what he's got to do, he's got to leave himself a double, or two darts at the double, and he's going to leave himself three darts at the double, so now Van der Voort, 9 to 3, got to go the 25 route. Oh, double 14, and what a shot out from Van der Voort. Strange way of going, that he goes 4-3 up. Game on. And another leg where he's held his throw. One hundred and forty. Well, Lewis has just gone four two up on Colin Osborne over on board one. Here on 41. board two. Been a bit of a scrappy game between Walsh and Van der Voort. Both players not taking advantage of their opponent's mistakes. At one time, Walsh, three legs to one up. Now uh, Van der Voort, three up, two legs away from his first win of the day. 125. This would be an upset. I see Walsh as the one that would possibly lead this group between him and Jenkins. With Lewis and Osborne <laughs> to make the semi-final this evening certainly Kevin Painter and Dennis Ovens it is a very close group today at the start 64. of day you couldn't say who would win and who would get relegated it was that close but certainly it's starting to pan out now 140 140, Marky required 24. Double 12 for Walsh to get it back to 4 all. Team Shaw, did he say? Nice ball in this game Busy. here on Broke board up. 2. Game on. And certainly a game now that Van der Voort feels he should go on and win. 140. Well, he needs to hold his throw and he can't lose. Well, Walsh. No, he's going to need a good quick fire leg to get control of the game. 44. And again, Walsh. It's probably the worst game I've seen Walsh play in the Champions League darts here at Crondon Park. It's been very scrappy from the standard he has been throwing. Been very, very consistent. As on his money list, it will prove. 
4,450 up before today. It's already a thousand pound up on the day, so only eleven £1 hundred pound up on today. Fifty pound a leg, best of eleven legs per game. Eight players round robin. One hundred and thirty-four. Well, Adrian Lewis now four three up against Colin Osborne, so that's become. A bit of a fat one over on board one, as it is here on board two. Four legs all. Now, this is a time to hit a maximum. Still leaves him a dart at the bullseye, or even two darts at double sixteen when he returns. Van der Voort looking for that treble twenty. Sixty-five. Cannot Mark understand four, why he went for the twenty-five with his third dart. He will go treble, treble 14 for double 16. A big 20. Now a chance here for Van der Voort. He's going to get two darts. 25. The, the treble 20. Treble 20, 20 for double 16. That looks good. Oh, he would have been looking to put 56. that Mark in the treble 20. The second yeah. dart with 58 for Mark Walsh to break the throw and go one leg away from a win. Double top. Are you sure? Then he hits it, so Mark Walsh takes the throw from Van der Voort. Five, four up. One leg away from another victory. Well, it's now four each over on board one between Lewis and Osborne. But here on board two, Walsh looks to kick off really well. Doesn't do that. Can Van der Voort take advantage of that? Well, another one of those legs coming up perhaps where neither player really wants to attack the treble 20. One hundred. Easy five. Well, that's exactly when you don't want to start missing big numbers when you are one leg down and your opponent is one leg off a victory. One hundred and forty. Then your opponent makes you pay for your mistakes. So now Van der Voort really up against the wall. The foreign squad have got their guns out. But can Walsh be the one that pulls the trigger? Well, again, Walsh not hitting the treble when he returns to the dartboard. Can Van der Voort hit this 180? That's what he wants. Another big m number missed. And that is wayward from Van der Voort, the second dart. Two stray darts from Van der Voort. Could be the two darts that cost him. Treble 19 for double 12. Well, treble 10 now. 109. Leaves him 32. Double 16 when he returns. Can Van der Voort take out the 155? Just in the wrong side of the bed. Leaves a shot, but now Walsh. Double 16 for a 6 4 win. So that's exactly what he does. 6 4 win for Mark Walsh over Vincent Van der Voort.